Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode, it was our 50th one hour episode special and we did a few things. We got to see Princess Naya of Oasis Springs and watch her age up into a child and I got to show you the different outfits that we picked out for her. We also got to focus a bit more on the noble families. We focused specifically on one of the noble families in Brindleton Bay, Pearl and Philip. And Pearl is the mother, she's a single mother and Philip is her son who we're hoping is going to marry Princess Naya one day. So she met Sir Derek of Windenburg and they hit it off really well and they became boyfriend and girlfriend already. So that was a huge thing. We also got to renovate the castle of Windenburg a bit. Not so much renovate as move stuff around and change up Princess Amira's room. But I am gonna show you guys in this episode kind of what we have done. And I changed some of the other rooms as well and made a few other adjustments. So I will show that to you in this video. But one of the other things we're gonna do in this video Video is do a royal slumber party. I have the slumber party mod, so I'm looking forward to actually using it because now we have a ton of kids, a ton of children, so we're going to invite over a bunch of royal and noble children for a sleepover, and I'm really, really excited. Before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MiraRay underscore. One more quick announcement I have to make is that for the next three weeks, my videos might be a little bit slower, unfortunately. I am in a show, I'm in a play, um, and we have intense rehearsal for the next three weeks. I have rehearsal every single day except for Monday, so I have work from nine to five. Immediately after, I will be driving an hour to DC to go to rehearsal from six to 10. So I won't have too much time to film episodes. On the days that I have off, I will definitely film as many as I can and get them out so you guys can see them, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. But if you also want to stay updated on our posting schedule, you can go onto our Twitter account or my Twitter account, um, which is in the description below. And I usually post our weekly schedule every week or so, so you guys can look at that. So anyway, let's go ahead and play the royal family. So it's actually a pretty perfect time to do a slumber party. It's a Saturday night, it's around six o'clock. So this is about the time we'd be having a slumber party anyway, but before we do I just want to show you the few different things that I've done So in the last episode you guys did see Princess Amira's new room with some custom content furniture that I love So I just switched up a few things I just moved the dresser over and I moved the mirror here I should probably move the mirror a little bit more closer to the wall But I put like a dresser over here. It still doesn't match as much as I wanted to so I'll probably have to find something a little different But I mean I like it for now. It's really pretty. I love this so much. She might need like a desk or something, but we can totally add that later. But so that's Princess Amir's room. This is Princess May's room. So I made it blue. It's a little bit more for like her sort of tomboyish style. Um, just because I don't think she'd be too much of a pink person. She does like purple a lot though. So I debated between having her do the whole purple thing and then blue. Um, but I do like the blue. It's a little different. I might end up changing it to purple depending kind of when she grows into a teenager, what her style and, and preference would change too. But I did the same comforter, just a different color as Princess Amira's, but I also added all these throw pillows. I need to find more like fancier royal throw pillows, but I think this is good for now. And then the bed too, the bed is really nice. So it has all this like cream wood colored color scheme sort of. And then she does have the pink pillows on the couch. I couldn't really change that too much, but this was the best blue that kind of went with everything. So that's Princess, Am uh, Princess May's room. And then, I I changed the nursery that we had. So we had like the two bedrooms here for the kids when they were toddlers. So I just opened up the entire thing, knocked down the walls and then added like all of the kids stuff. So we had like a little puppet show thing. We've got like all the kids games and stuff. We I even added like the scouting badge board because I didn't know if they should join the scouts. I feel like that would be a lot of fun if they did. So I, I've actually never really done that much with the scout. So I'm, I'm excited to do that. So I wasn't too like thrilled about the curtains. I think we need to change up a few things in here because like I don't know what the color scheme is doing. And then we also changed the master bedroom, the king and queen's room. It's very big and very bare and I have no idea what to do with the center of this room. There was only so much of this. Oh my gosh, Bubbles. Oh my gosh, he's playing with his squeaky toy. Hold on. Okay, I just took his toy away. So I think he's okay. <laughs> he's really upset at me though. He was not happy that I took his toy away. Anyway, so we are, what was I doing? Oh right, the master bedroom. So like there wasn't 
too much other stuff to put with this theme. Like, it doesn't have a desk, really, that goes with that pack. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I wish there was, like, also better carpets that we could do. So I'll have to figure something out. But this is it for now. And then just the outside, too. So I, I moved the castle back because it was just so far forward to the gate. So I moved it back a little. This isn't my favorite thing in the world. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's missing stuff. But I added, like, all of the 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 greenery fence, I guess. And then I put little fountains here too, because there was just this awkward space. So I, I ended up putting fountains there. I still need to erase some of the terrain. It looks like the painting. Um, and then I also like, enlarged the pool because we had a really small pool with that whole maze thing and the maze was really cool and like this is really plain now too I just like this is this is what I came up with so I I think it's okay I definitely will probably keep changing more things oh my gosh bubbles okay guys he's done I gave him a treat and he's on the couch right now eating it so or I gave him a dental stick anything to distract him really okay so I have no idea what I was talking about. I think I was just explaining the outside of the castle. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm definitely gonna try to change it. I wish I was better at building and, and uh, landscaping and all of that, but I'm not. So we'll definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll change it at some point. I kind of want these two to be symmetrical. So I will do that. Um, so before we begin our slumber party, I need to get all of the slumber party stuff. So it, it the pack does come with the all like all the stuff for your slumber party that you can use, which I think is really, really cool. So let's go to custom content. And then it has this like BPS thing. So it tells you, I, I, well, I don't really remember what that means, but it's something to do with the mod or anything. So anyway, it's a sleepover stuff. So it's a beanbag chair. So this is just like, um, I guess we could do the slumber party in our playroom probably. We're gonna invite both boys and girls cause, cause Prince Kellen's gonna have his friends over and then so is Princess May and Princess Amira. So I think we're going to do, oh my God, Bubbles, seriously? Okay guys, sorry. I think he's really done now because I just threw that toy like 12 times. I also like, I hid the other toys too. All right, now he wants to come up. <laughs> he's like, oh, are you crazy? He's crazy, guys. He's so hyper right now. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't have no idea how even long this video is just like space I'm gonna have to edit out later. So anyway, okay, so we got these little like cute beanbag chairs. We might as well use them. So since this is, well, let's go here because since this is Prince Kellen's room, maybe I'll add it here. So I didn't even add, like I didn't change up his room at all because I don't know. I just, there wasn't much to do with it. It's just a classic. It's a classic room. I also forgot that he has his own bathroom too, which is like really nice. I feel like the girls should have their own bathroom. His room is huge. This room could totally be split up into two different rooms. It's gigantic. Anyway, so we have these little cute beanbag little shark theme bobbers. So we will kind of do like a little, like a little place for them to all sit and hang out, which is, oh, that's cute. Okay, so then we've got that. And then one of the other stuff that comes with it, that's part of the baby shower mod. And then we also have this baby shower. What is this? Prom stuff. Oh, prom stuff, that'll be fun. Oh, that crown is for the prom. I didn't even realize that. Is there a queen crown? I haven't seen that. This is for baby shower. This is for a funeral. This is for sleepover pillows of poshness. That is too cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wish I could put this on the bed. That would be adorable. Okay, well, let's just put like all of these pillows in here for now. And I think that'll be so cute. We got like all the different kinds, all the different colors. So they're just setting out a bunch of the pillows for their friends. So they've got that. And then we also have, those are for the funeral. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize we have like a casket and everything. That's crazy. Okay, sleepover stuff. Coloring clutter. This doesn't actually look like something you can... Okay, checkboard too. This isn't stuff that you can actually play with though. We have prom tickets. We've got sleepover stuff, stack of games. Man, they are just like all set and prepared. Do we not have a table in here? I feel like that's something that we actually need is a table. So is, uh, that might just be like nightstand stuff. Um, how about... I don't know, these are like dining tables. I don't really want a dining table. Is there any other stuff for the kiddos that we have? Got such 
such a square table. That's what it's called. It's funny. Okay, so we have that, and then we're gonna go back and take a look at all of the... Oh, no! Show me all of the stuff from... There we go. Okay. Okay, so we've got a Monopoly board. That's cute. I don't think you could actually use it, but it's still really, really cute. And then we also have that stack of games that I saw, wherever that went. Ooh, Vanity Cushion. Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Can I put this on her bed? I'm getting distracted. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really cool. That's probably not for her, but that's still really cute. Oh my gosh, okay, well now I know. Now I know it's there. We also have like all the Pokemon stuff, guys. I'm so excited to use this. I think I'm gonna use this later, but I'm just like, uh, I see it now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really wanna use that. Okay, and then we have sleeping bags. So we've got all, oh my gosh, so many different options for sleeping bags. We're just like stacking sleeping, well, why can't I put this down? Yep, all right, stacking sleeping bags in this room here for all the kids. And I should probably put some in Prince Kellen's room too. I feel like they let the girls use the nursery or the, the playroom for their friends when they come over. And then Prince Kellen can use his room because his room is bigger. Cause like the girls don't really have that much room. So I feel like they would let them use that. And then we also have, okay. So that is sleeper stuff. Oh, a twister rug. Oh my gosh, guys, that's fun. <gasps> that is awesome. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I had that stack of games. I don't know where it went though. This is it. That's coloring color c clutter. And then what is this? Mm, I think that's everything. I think we have it all. Yes. Oh my gosh, but we can unlock this by getting the sub oh, the gold summer party. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, I really want this TV. I really want it. And a per per stereo that is so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, we have to get that unlocked because that is going to be so much fun. I love this, the glass slipper version television or vision television. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think we're prepared for the sleepover. I think we have everything that we need. There might be some goals that we need to do that would involve some of these items, but I'm not sure exactly what they are yet. I've never done this before. I'm so excited. So excited for a sleepover. Okay, so I'm gonna have a Queen Alice call everyone for the sleepover. So she'll be the one to invite everyone because she knows most of the kids. And yeah, because I mean, the kids can't host. Well, can they Can they be the host, but just not call? Maybe, I guess we'll see. So we are going to do a, where is it? Did I pass it? Uh, slumber party and make it a gold event. And we're going to have all three of them be the hosts and invite over their little friends. It's so exciting. Okay, so we have them and then Prince Johan and then Princess Nea. I'm going to start with like, hmm, okay, the Prince Louis and the Princess Belle, Prince Jax. So those are all their cousins. And let's see, who else? Who else do we want to invite? I like Lady Ava. She is, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Princess Amira likes her though, but I think we might as well like get to know them. Let's invite over Lady Lady Ava. And then we'll also invite Philip McWilliam. I need to change his name to Sir Philip. I need to do that very, very soon. So just pretend for, for now. He's part of the noble family. And uh, Sir, oh, Sir Minx does not like Sir Minx and Lady Amira do not get along, but I feel like he might be friends, a good friend for Prince Kellen. So I'm gonna invite him over anyway. She'll just have to deal with it. Okay, we got a lot of kids coming over, guys. Like a whole bunch. This is a, oh my God, how many can we invite? Whoa, 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 whoa. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, it feels like so much more than that. We can invite all of them. We're gonna invite all of them, all the nobles though. We're not gonna, we're not gonna invite the commenters. <laughs> okay, so we, oh, 14 guests. Okay, grown up. <laughs> we'll have both of them be the grown up, of course. Okay, and it's going to be at our house. Oh no, I hope the kids don't take forever to come. That's gonna be awful. Oh gosh, okay. So the things, my camera's here, or my screen is here, so you guys can't see. But we need to, our main goal is to socialize eight times. Oh my gosh. Why she change? They literally are changing into their party outfit, but they change into their nightgowns. That's so funny. Okay, so we need to socialize eight times. I'm gonna pause this because we never have that much time. Um, 
have Sims dance at the same time, have a grown-up cook a meal, and battle a friend with that Void Critters pack thing. So, we're gonna ask our butler to cook the meal because that's what butlers are for. I just have to find our butler. He is here somewhere. Um, okay, there he is. I feel like he was standing there like last time I looked. Oh my gosh, they're way too dressed up for this. The adults are wearing their party outfits. It's hilarious. Okay, so you need to friendly. You need to you need to introduce yourself to the butler. That's definitely something you should do. But for now, why don't you just ask him to make a meal? So assign task and then mm, cook meal, cook party meal. There we go. Okay. So another thing I got, guys, is the Slice of Life mod. Um, so that one, if you guys aren't familiar, just kind of like makes everything a little bit more real. Like the only thing I've experienced so far is that my Sims, um, they were dehydrated and they were thirsty. So they were like in a daze. And then what is this? This is new. Almost time. It's almost time for... Oh, <laughs> this is another thing is they get their period. Um, so uh, it's almost time for Queen Alice to officially start having periods. The cycle will come every 12 Sim days and last for six days when your Sim reaches the age elder. Oh my gosh, that is a lot, guys. Why every 12 Sim days? I feel like it should be like, like not that much. I, maybe because like they don't know if you're going to be doing like short lifespan or medium lifespan or all of that. But I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, who's this? Is this... Okay, that's Prince Johan. So we need to all hang out with them. And then we're going to have a Princess Amira start her boy... Oh, they're changing... They're trying on outfits! That's cute! Why is she mad? Why are you mad? Feeling angry from hot-headed. Oh my gosh. Calm down. You need to calm down. Okay. So we need to, oh, we need to purchase void critters. Okay, we can do this from a computer. So why don't we order a void critter booster pack? Ooh, yes, we can get her the, the, the five, the times five. Princess Mira purchased several void critter booster packs. She is going to, we're gonna force her to, to share these with her siblings. That, oh, you, okay, just open all of them. Open, 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 okay. So she's opened them all. What good things did she get? She got Common, Yorier. She got a few of those. So why don't we give those to her siblings? And she can hang on to the rest of them. Okay. So we're going to battle again. Ooh, who should she battle, guys? Why don't we battle against Prince Johan? And we'll use Yorier. Wait, power level one. Play. Uh, power, they all have power level one, I think. Okay, well then I don't really think it matters who you battle with, unless it's like a whole element thing that they have to worry about, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we now have some midnight snacks. We need to have them all dance at the same time, and then we're gonna battle a friend. So, have some midnight snacks. I wonder how you do that. Can you just like go to the fridge and do that? Why are you outside? You guys are not supposed to be outside. What are some, oh, you know what? Princess May, start one of the games of Don't Wait the Llama. I think that'll be fun. What, why do you have so much stuff that you, do I need to reset you? What is happening? She just had so much stuff. Okay, homework complete. Oh, Princess May finished her homework. That's good. Okay, so play with, and then pick four people to play with. So let's do Prince Kellen, Prince Jack, and where's Princess Belle? I don't see her. I don't know where she is. I hope she came. So I'd really like her to come. She's one of my favorites too. So can we interact with any of this stuff? This is just decorations. It's cool that they have a Twister mat though. That would be so much fun to play Twister. Oh, okay. So the, oh no, that's Lady Ava. I thought that was Princess Belle. Uh, do a friendly introduction. You should probably know all of these Sims. I don't know why you don't. Where is Prince Kellen? Does he need to be reset too? I think he does. Okay, what are you wearing? Is this your cold weather? Oh, right, I still haven't picked his other outfits. Oh, did I just restart the whole game? Does he need medicine? You do need medicine. Princess Amira, what are you doing? It's not your turn. <laughs> that is, oh my gosh, guys, that's literally just something she would do is just like force her way in there. Can the kids not take medicine? Wait, what? Wait, he's totally got something on him though. Um, he can't take medicine. I did not know kids couldn't take medicine. Okay, well, why don't you play with whoever... Let's go back to playing with who we were playing with. Lady Ava, who's not on this... Oh yeah, okay, I already picked her. Prin oh, Princess May is here, and then... What happened to Princess May? Did I lose her? 
Is she already playing? Okay, well, let's just play with them. And then we, yeah, okay, everyone else move aside. He's sick, guys, and he can't take medicine. So I don't really know what to do with that. But I, uh, I don't know. Okay, we need to introduce ourselves to everyone. And does it count if we, st okay, we are started, like we have technically a gathering has started. So let's, let's do a friendly introduction. You guys need to meet everybody because there's no excuses why you shouldn't know the people that have been to your house. So Sir Ian, do a friendly introduction. My gosh, guys, we need to meet everyone. We need to see who everyone clicks with and who they're all gonna be friends with. Okay, we also, so I thought Princess Amir already battled a friend. That was what we were supposed to do. Battle Void Critter against, let's do Lady Caitlyn. Okay, so start battling because that's one of the things we need to do. We also need to interact with people eight times. So we could totally do that. Oh my gosh, the fact that Prince Kellen is sick, he's gonna get everyone else sick. Oh my gosh, kids, calm down. Okay, everyone's crying, okay. So, repair. Just make all the kids happy because they're all really upset right now. And then we need to just introduce ourselves to everyone. We need to just make sure we're like, know everyone. Like they should definitely know Princess Naya because she's important. She's sick too! Is this what's like, is, are we just getting everybody sick? Shoot, that's not a good thing at all. Okay, well, I think that they, have like they just need to introduce themselves to people really and we've met our main goal so we have a gold now for the sleepover so that's awesome we still have like not that much time left or we don't have that much time left and it's like almost 12 but like everyone's welcome to stay the night how do you get them to stay the night i don't know by the way who should princess may end up with i don't really know she could end up with one of the princes of oasis, of oasis springs and she could also, I think that's really, and then we also have the younger brother, Prince Jack of Brindleton Bay. So she could end up with one of them. Oh, and then, yeah, who's Prince Kellen gonna end up with? He could end up with Princess Megan of Oasis Springs. Cause he's technically the heir. So we have to find someone who we would want to be queen of Windenburg. Cause like, this is our main family. So we want someone who we're going to be like playing with a lot so, Prince Kellen, who do you like? Let's make sure you introduce your everyone, too. I like Lady Ava, guys. I don't know why. There's just something about her that I like a lot. Where is she going, though? She has to pee. Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably fill everybody's needs. Uh, but I do like Lady Ava. Even though she's a noble, she's not a royal. But I do like her a lot. I guess we're going to have to also see Princess Meghan when she grows up. Because that's really the only option for Prince Kellen that's like a royal family is Princess Meghan and I mean Princess Naya. But she's kind of already got like someone we want her to be with. Is it ending already? Is everyone leaving? Wait, what? But it's not over yet. Is it just because everybody's hungry? But I just filled everybody's needs. Oh, I just did household? Fill everyone's needs for a world. Okay, maybe that's better now. So I have no idea why. All of the kids are outside at the moment. They are all just crowding around out here. Why does everyone have to go to the bathroom? I literally, you don't have to go. You, a missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and I feel sad. Keep looking for it. Okay. So I don't know why all the kids gathered up there, but why don't we have a dance party? Because they said that you should, oh, wind down classical, listen to... Wind down to classical. How about listen to uh, pop, pop, and then dance. Dance with everyone. Why can't you dance together? Music needs to be playing. It is going to play. Turn on, turn on pop music and dance together. Okay, cool. Now we can have everyone dance together. And it looks like we have a ghost that has joined us. King Henry II has joined. And oh, oh yeah, wait. You should probably introduce yourself because well, we'll do that later. What is SOL settings? Choose your talent. <gasps> oh, right. Okay, so part of the slice of life mod is that you can have a talent. So socially talented, physically talented, musically talented. So you can pick it if, you're, if your sim hasn't already picked yet. I feel like Lady Amira, would she be socially talented? Because she is pretty hot-headed. So she probably wouldn't be socially talented. But I'm interested to see what she would be good at. Because it's, it's good to know that you'd be, like, good at something. So, who is this? Why are you wearing that outfit? King Kellen? What are you wearing? What is this nonsense? This is, like, a punk outfit. I guess he can wear anything he wants when he's a ghost. 
Oh, guys, and I love this picture so much of the siblings. They look so cute. I need to do another one of them all, too. It's adorable. And they are all just having a little dance party together. I want them to get enough points to where we can add another person or just more people in general. So they are all just, just dancing together. Super, super cute. They are all, guys, just so adorable. I'm so glad. I love this slumber party mod. They just, I wish you could interact with more of the objects and stuff, but I think it's still fun. We do need to make sure that we like know everyone. Is he, Sir Jasper, is he like really tired or something? Cause he looks like it. Who is this? Wait, Princess, oh, that's Princess Belle. Oh, for some reason I thought that was Princess Amira the entire time. So that's Princess Belle. So she, why don't, why don't you ask her to come dance with you? Because she rocks. She's awesome. She's super sweet. I forgot it's because her hair is that long and curly because when like her hair's up, it has like all that curly to it. So I forgot that's why I did that. But is she uncomfortable or something? Because it said discuss uncomfortable mood. Everyone's uncomfortable. Guys, I totally changed their, their needs though. What is happening? I definitely did this. Is this because of the slice of life mod? Okay, well, we got a gold medal, so that's good. So that was a successful slumber party! That was, oh, that was so cute. I love hanging out with all the kids, guys. I think that's super, super adorable. I also, one thing want to do, we also need to age up uh, the other prince of Brindleton Bay. I'm, like, totally blanking on his name right now. But we can go do that. I'm sorry, I totally blanked. There's Prince Johan. It's not Prince Jack, because Prince Jack is of Willow Creek. Prince Johan and Prince... Well, we're about to see anyway, so... But yeah, because he's about actually the same age as Prince Kellen, I think? I hope he wasn't older. I think they're the same age, or maybe he's a little younger. We also should probably start aging up the kids of Oasis Springs, too, but they're definitely, like, a little bit more behind than the rest of the kids. They were much younger. So, who... Okay, I gotta find his name. So, his name was Prince James! That's it! Okay, how could I forget that? Prince James of Brindleton Bay. So, we're going to age him up. Uh, we're at the Palace of Brittleton Bay, so uh, he is going to be a toddler now, so then they're not going to have any more toddlers. They're going to- or he, not, sorry. Oh gosh, he's going to be a child now, so we're not going to have any more toddlers in the Brindleton Palace. I kind of wish they had a girl, guys. Like, I don't know. I wish they did. I- maybe- maybe shouldn't they have another baby? I don't know. The, the baby would be, like, so behind all the other kids, but I would- I would really love them to have a girl be really sweet. I think we're okay with two boys for them. It's just like if they had a girl, it'd be another option for Prince Kellen, like a possible marriage candidate. But we'll just keep it at the two boys then. Okay, so we are at our palace of Brindleton Bay and look at this. Oh my gosh, they, he has a sweater, Cinnamon. Oh, Cinnamon is an adult now too. Remember when she was just a puppy, guys? Maybe they'll adopt another dog too. But, oh gosh, King Jared, are you... Yep, see? Okay, dehydrated. So that's one of the things of the Slice of Life mod. So he just needs to get some water. And I think we're just going to have, like... We're not going to throw, like, a legit birthday party. We're just going to have some people come over. And then we'll have, like, a cake and stuff. So where is our... Okay, there. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we're going to cook... And we're going, let's do a, let's do a chocolate cake. Because we always do the white cake. So we're going to do a chocolate cake. It is 4 a.m., my bad. So Prince Johan, though, he is at a sleepover. So we'll, we'll just have him, well, let's have him come back. Bring Prince Johan here. And it said that his celebrity level is losing. So, oh, not marriages. Public image. Increase celebrity level. And then increase. And then freeze your, oh, nope. Freeze your fame. Okay. Um, and then we also, let's see, we also need to like get their rooms in check because right now it is like the nursery. So we have two different rooms. Like this would be one of the kids' rooms. And then I guess we would just turn this into, well, we would turn this into one of the kids' rooms, but guys, it's so small. Like that is, that should stay a nursery. What are we going to do? Why? We don't have like any, guys, I love this castle so much, but it's tiny. Do we have any room upstairs? Do I have a bedroom upstairs? I do have a bedroom upstairs. But like, I feel like the kid shouldn't sleep in like, I mean, this looks like an attic. I mean, we could change the way it looks, but that's what it looks like to me. But there's just really no other space, guys. Like, this is kind of sad. There's no space. I And I, it's just so difficult kind of to like add 
a room here because of the way it's it's like laid out and everything so i will definitely have to figure out how to do that okay so king are you are you still dazed you're still dehydrated and then queen nina is also dazed and dehydrated that is the worst looking cake i have ever seen God, i i think she should make another she should get some water first though but like you don't want that for your child for his birthday especially if he's a prince like you would not give that to your child you need to cook another cake because you need to make up for that that was that is not a good cake guys that is just not good we're gonna clean that up we're gonna clean this one up too because i think that's from like a really long time ago it says that it's not spoiled yet though so i don't know and then why are you angry why are you making a mess no you're gonna get scolded, parenting, discipline, firm. Um, tell not to make a mess, because you don't want to do that. Prince Johan, oh my god, what is wrong with his eyes? <gasps> what is wrong with his eyes? Is it because, oh my gosh, it looks frightening. Is it because it's, okay, the thermostat was set to cool, that's why I think. But like, oh my gosh, that was, no, yeah, set, set to warmer, please, because that's why your child looks like a, a demon right now. Why is his eyes like that? Oh my gosh, guys! What? What is this? Why does he look like that? I, is it because he's tired? Like, what is that? There's no other moodlet for him, though. That's, that's frightening and scary, and I don't know why. Okay, clean up this, and then... Are you done making the cake? No, you're feeling dazed still. Didn't you just drink your water, though? Get more water. And then Prince or King Jared, you can also get more water. I don't know why they're so dehydrated. Okay, that is a much better looking cake. Good. Okay, so add some birthday candles. And uh, is the butler blocking your way to the water? Get water. But move. Move. You are in the way here. Okay, get water. Okay. And then... Queen Nina, you also need to get water. King Jared, can you... Why are they still so... Oh, guys, this is... <sighs> this... That. Why are they still like this? They're drinking water. Why is it not working? You, you already had a glass of water, too. Okay, anyway, so we're going to bring Prince James here to help blow out the candles. So we can see what he looks like when he turns into a child. And then why does Prince Johan look like this, guys? I still don't understand. Is it some sort of makeup thing that I'm like not seeing or is that the slice of life mod? Is it because he's tired or something? I don't really know. Clean this up though, please. And then maybe you can like gain some more manners by setting the table. So let's do a fancy setting. We'll do border. And oh my gosh, guys, this is like a really cute trash can. I've never seen that. They have like little flowers on it too. That's really cute. Okay. So, oh, okay. So he is aging up. Prince James is aging up into a child, guys! Guys, they are just like, oh, they're growing up so fast. They're growing up so fast. Okay, so he was independent. So he could be social, he could be creative. I feel like we ha don't have like any creative ones. So we're gonna make him creative and then I'm gonna, well, he's already creative. So does he get that trait too? Or should he be like, should he be like an artist or a music lover? Maybe he'll be a music lover. Maybe he'll, like, really love the piano a lot. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, so where... Oh, music lover. Okay. There we go. He's our little musician. His hair is lighter than everyone else's? Or he has his mom's hair? He does have his mom's hair. Oh, Princess Naya, his cousin, sent him a present. That's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to save this cake, hopefully, unless it goes bad. But save this cake for future birthday parties. Because that would be nice. Why is he days two? Why do they always need water? Guys, just just calm yourself. Is Prince or King Jared, he's not any better. He is drinking water though. Do we need to go to the bar or something? Don't we have a bar? I thought we did. I don't think we do actually. Okay, well, I don't know why they're so dehydrated, but hopefully I will figure out how to fix that soon. But this is Prince James, so I will definitely have his clothing and everything all picked out. He's going to be our little musician, so I think we're going to have him play the piano, because we do have a piano upstairs. He has his, like, mother's hair, and then he also, like, is, is that acne? What is that? No, it's he's going to get sick, too. Guys, he looks like, 
Uh, maybe it's like the glasses and stuff, but he looks nothing like any of the other kids. So I'm going to show you guys him in the next episode too, because I do need to end this here. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this. I hope you guys like the slumber party and focusing a little bit more on the kids, because I definitely want you guys to get to know them so we can like sort of have more of a connection with them, because I think that it's important so you guys can help me pick two who you think is like good for who. And like, I just want to see who they become friends with and all of that as well. But Yes, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Looking forward to the next episode as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And I will definitely, through the next three weeks, try to be posting as many videos as possible. But please don't forget about me. Stay with me. I will be posting more videos of the royal family and more of the legacy challenge as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.